Hi everyone, Stepan here with another game. Uh, I'm gonna go d4. Let's see what happens. Uh, okay, uh, this time I don't think I transpose into the Pirts or the Modern. I'm gonna go c4. Uh, lately I've been playing e4 against this, but now I'll try c4, knight c3 to see what happens. Uh, Okay, now we just have a normal King's Indian without the knight on f6. Uh, is there a difference? No, 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 I know this. Okay, this is okay. Uh, my opponent is 2150. Again, I, I've been waiting a long time for a game. So you cannot really choose your opponents. And if I lower the rating brackets, then it takes even longer. Or if I make them higher. Uh, so... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not able to do that. Uh, you guys have been asking about the theory. Okay, so now the main line, I think, is bishop e3, e5, d5, and then he could go knight d4 or knight e7. I think that's the main line. I played this in a tournament game against Fide Master Mario Ivekovic, and we ended up drawing the game. He could go knight d4 or knight e7, and now I can go g4 or h4, I think. Uh, just trying to remember, he wants to go f5, so the line goes g4, f5, uh, gf5, gf5, queen h5, knight g6, or king f8. So g4, f5, gf5, gf5, queen h5, knight g6, what was the move there? I prepared this for that game, but it was a year ago, or less than a year ago, but... Okay, so g4, f5, g5, g5, queen h5, knight g6, what was my move? Okay, I'm gonna go for this, because g4 is the main line, and the most straightforward way to fight against f5. And I'll try to figure it out. Uh... So f5, gf5, gf5, queen h5, knight g6. I believe it was knight h3. So f5, gf5, gf5, queen h5, knight g6, knight h3, knight f6. Queen e2. Okay, I don't know knight f6. I think he had to go f5 there. Because uh, now I can go bishop e2 and g5. So bishop e2 castles g5. Knight d7 is forced and then h4, h5. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna do that. Unless he has knight takes e4, knight takes e4, f5, gf5, gf5. Wait, 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 wait. Knight e4, knight e4, f5, gf5, gf5, knight c3, f4, bishop d2. Seems okay. I don't think he can sack on e4. So now my threat is g5, and if he castles, he doesn't have knight g8, he doesn't have knight h5, he has to go to d7, and then I go h4, h5. Okay. This is slightly strange. I think g5 is good here. I don't think castles was a good move, because now h4 is coming. So h4, f5 takes, knight takes h5, Knight e3, fe3. So sorry, he doesn't have knight e3. So <clears throat> h4, f5, gf6, knight f6, h5. Seems okay to me. h4, f5, gf5. Uh, sorry, h4, f5, gf6, knight f6, h5. Can he go g5? No, I'm going h4. <laughs> I 
I mean, if he doesn't play f5, then I just have a good position. He's gonna have to play it at some point, weakening his king. This is now starting to resemble the normal King's Indian stuff I play. Still, I think he should have gone f5 against g4. We're gonna have a look at that line. I've been preparing it, but I couldn't remember everything. I know that after knight g6, there were three moves. And I think queen e2 was one of them. Knight h3 was definitely one of them. Maybe even knight f3, but then I block in my queen. So g4, f5. Okay. <laughs> Why couldn't I go b4 here? So if I go b4, he goes knight a6. So maybe I should go h5 instead. So h5, f5. hg6, hg6. Oh no, maybe I take on f6 first. So h5, f5, g, f6, bishop, f6, h, g6, knight, g6. I mean, he has no cover at all. I could just go queen d2 there. So h5, f5, g, f6, bishop, f6, h, g6, knight, g6. In the resulting position, there's a bishop on f6, knight on g6. He's threatening knight f4, but not if I go queen d2. Oh yeah, he is, because if queen d2, knight f4, bishop f4, e f4, queen f4, bishop takes c3 check, wins my queen. I'm still going h5, I think it's still good. I'm not gonna do anything irrational after this, but I think I need to start opening up some lines. I still think f5 is the best move, just like it was a couple of turns ago. b4 may also have been good, chasing the knight away to a6, but I didn't really want to waste the tempo. Okay. So now I have a very simple plan. h takes, h takes, bishop c5, dc5, queen d3. But unfortunately I don't have queen h3 because his bishop is covering that. Now, I think when bishop takes c5, I just win a piece. So bishop c5, d c5, d6, does the knight have a square? I don't think so. So bishop c5, d c5, d6, knight f5 probably. Okay, I, I just win a piece here, so I'm gonna do that, because I don't see how he saves the knight. There are no squares for the knight, so this is probably good. Okay. So now I'm thinking queen d2 to save my g pawn. And then castle's queen side is there something better he could go e4 that could be annoying so queen d2 e4 castle's queen side if e3 i take with the pawn give up my g pawn I think queen d2 has to be my move. Yeah, I'm 
even queen d2, I want to save my g pawn. I, I, because if he takes on g5, then I can never castle. Ideally, I would like to go f3, knight e4 after this to blockade his bishop. So if I go f3, preventing e4, he doesn't have queen h4 check, and then blocking in the dark squared bishop as well. If he goes b5, I can go knight e4, and then if he takes on c4, I take with the bishop. That seems okay. I'm gonna go f3. <clears throat> if I can set up a blockade on e4, then I'd be blocking both his bishops and threatening knight f6 in many positions. And I haven't yet committed my king to c1, so I may even consider castle and king side at some point. What does that do? He wants to go rook e6. Ah, he wants to go bishop f8. Okay. He wants to go bishop f8. So I'm looking at bishop g4, but then he takes on c4. I'm looking at castle's queen side and knight f3 as well. So castle's queen side, bishop f8, seems good. I'm going to do that. I think this has to be good. Because my, my queen is covering b1. His bishop is blocked in. That's why I think f3 was a good idea. Now, I need to develop my knight. The question is where. I would really like my knight on g4. So I'm looking at ideas like knight h3, knight f2, knight g4. He wants to take on c4 and go rook b4. So maybe I throw in a g6 first to see what he takes with. But on rook b4 I can go b3, so that's not a big deal. Okay, but let's go a g6. Let's start opening up the h file. Let's see what he takes with. Okay. Now, I would like to get in queen somewhere and then queen h3. But is that good enough? I take, I check on h7, he goes king f8. It doesn't seem good enough. I would rather have my knight on g4. So knight h3, bc4, bishop c4, rook b4, b3, let's say a5. Uh, I could consider going a4. Yeah, that seems okay. I'm gonna go knight h3. I wanna do this and this. If I can get rid of that bishop, his king is defenseless. I feel. I 
I mean, he's a piece down and playing with, a, with an extremely bad bishop, so there's no doubt that I'm winning. But it's still double-edged, because he has this idea of storming. So if he goes... If I go knight f2, he plays bishop d6, queen takes d6, bishop g5, uh, queen g5 check, king b1, queen e3. Seems kind of annoying. But on queen e3, I do have queen f6 winning, so it's okay. I can go knight f2. He doesn't have uh, bishop takes d6. Bishop d6, queen d6, queen g5, king b1, queen e3, queen f6. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing I should just move my pawn. Is there an immediate win? <laughs> Knight g4, rook d6, knight f6 check, he has to play rook f6, and then I take on d8, so knight g4 works, knight g4, bishop d6, uh, knight f6 check, threatening just rook h7 mate, seems okay, so knight g4, rook d6, knight f6 check, rook f6, Queen takes d8, this works. Oh, he can go queen takes f6. He can go queen takes... Okay, he went rook takes f6. He could have gone queen takes f6. Okay, but he could have gone queen takes f6. Why is my internet so slow? I hit analysis board and nothing's going on. What's going on? Whoa! What's going on? Is there something wrong with leeches? What's wrong? I don't know what's wrong. I'm gonna try to connect to my mobile network because it's either my internet or leeches. Let me just try a different network. Let's try this. Okay. Okay, now it works. <clears throat> so it was my connection. I'm sorry about that. Uh, let's have a look at the game. Yeah, in this position, he may have had queen f6. And then I take, takes, takes. Yeah, okay, I'm still just a rook up. Okay, everything works. On rook f6, I just take on d8. Uh, pretty clean game. 96% accuracy, yes. Okay, he obviously did blunder. So let's have a look at this position first. So I'm going to show you the theory here. On g4, this is what I was talking about. f5, gf5, gf5, queen h5, knight g6. And now, okay, ef5 first. Okay, yeah, that's true. ef5 first, and then maybe ef5, 
yeah, yeah, okay, okay, this is the line. On King F8, uh, on King F8, there's not Knight H3, but Bishop H3. Okay, you see, I, I just couldn't remember. I knew it this far, and I probably would have taken here. And then Queen H4. Yeah, yeah I remember this from prep. Bishop E2, I don't know. Let's look at it with the engine. Uh, so castles, correct, h4, correct. He should have played f5, and this is, so f5 takes, knight takes h5, and now I don't know. Okay. Yeah, now bishop c5 just wins a piece. f3 is good, knight e4 is good, bishop takes f takes, okay took which is fine and then knight h3 which wasn't best, okay now it's good, knight f2, knight g4 his best move is queen d6. Yeah, okay. I mean, I don't remember playing a game this clean ever. This is... yes. Okay, but I'm slightly upset that I couldn't remember my prep. So let's go back. So g4, f5, gf5, gf5, queen h5 check, knight g6, I take, he plays queen h4. Now if I take, this I remember is an equal endgame, so I think I was looking at queen f3, or I was intending to play queen f3 in my game. Okay, knight e7, bishop d3. And then he just wins the pawn back. Yeah, okay, I remember looking at f6, but I don't remember it well. All right, thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked the game. This was, I mean, it was a very clean game. Thank you. Stay tuned for more chess. Bye-bye.